The Brian and Vinny Show. Brian and Vinny Show. Brian and Vinny Show. Minus five stars every day. What about this Will Smith thing? I haven't heard it with audio yet. So maybe when I hear it with audio, I'll change my mind. But the video I saw, he walked up to the guy. Total, total work. At least like the slap. Looked like he missed him by about six inches. Nope. Didn't look like he touched him. He pretty slapped loud. his leg. He's getting pretty damn... <laughs> yeah. Maybe I'll check it out later. I guess I probably have to, huh? Yeah, if you can talk about it, you probably should. Yeah. I'm a big fan of people knowing what they're talking about when they talk about things. Jared, can I play the audio or are we going to get kicked off, off YouTube? Let's see. Oh, that helps. He went like this and like this. <laughs> All right, what's he writing? No. Yeah. I no don't... idea. Oh, a lot of good that does. Can I play it or not? Go ahead, but not really. Forget who was he showed. Oh, it was, uh, uh, um, uh, what's his name? Uh, you know, guy does a big frog splash. Eddie Guerrero? No, not Eddie Guerrero. He's been deceased, Vinny, for over a decade. Just watched the new Jackass movie yesterday. Uh, my review is that no one should ever see it, and I laughed so hard I got a headache. Oh. So I'm looking forward wow. to what Jack Knoxville could do next. Let's see. Tons of wang in the movie. Is that true, Vinny? A lot of cock in Jackass? There is so much penis in Jackass. Wow. Yeah. A lot of scrotum as well, as long as we're on the subject. Get that drop. Detective Alvarez is on the Playback case. Playback speed, 0.25. Stick around, everybody. This might be a while. <laughs> Oh, this is a good podcast. Sounds dirty. He laughed for a long time. Oh, he got him. Yeah, he definitely got him there. Just as I thought. So Granny is uh, open to doing video. It doesn't have to be right in front of your face. It can be off to the side. It can be a, a shot from a long way away. Haven't you seen the video of Dave where he's in his office and there's like, you know, papers up to his waist? Uh-uh. Your your house is much cleaner than his. I'm wearing a flannel shirt right now, as is Vinny. Yes. And Craig as well. Look at Craig's flannel shirt. Mm-hmm. We are doing this to celebrate the... Why are we doing the this? The lumberjack match between Hacksaw Jim Duggan and Shawn Michaels. Austin Baker wants to know what is the best cup of noodle you've had in your life. <laughs> the regular cup of noodles. So plain. Plain <laughs> cup of noodle. Ten women, Rhonda. Ha, uh, one by submission. Bliss McMahon, Nikki Bella, Brooke, Bliss Natalie. <laughs> what are you Bailey, talking about? Morgan, James, and Fox. She beat all Morgan these guys. She beat all these women by submission. Morgan James Fox is my favorite playmate. <sighs> to, to, uh, to be what he pulled his fucking gum out of his mouth. Uh-huh. He puts the gum in her mouth. She then proceeds to smile and begin chewing the gum, and she goes back to her job. I hope the two of them cleared this in the back. Shawn Michaels is like, he's so fucking great, but every time this guy takes a backdrop in midair, he has to turn to look to find out where the ground is. Yes. I'm like, what? You have to look to see where the fucking ground is? It's down there. I think we've all learned something tonight. Down Thank where? You, you know where. Mark Sterling is putting up pictures of Wardlow, but doesn't mention his name. His name is banned. It merely says this person is banned from all AEW events. For over three weeks, the revolutionary force in sports entertainment. It's like when UFC was numbering their pay-per-views and you know, it's like UFC 1, UFC 5. Now it's like, UFC 246. I'm like, who the fuck? UFC 246? I'm sure there are people out there like, oh, you don't remember what was on 244? No, I don't remember what was on fucking 244. I like this better than the main event. I like this better than anything else on the show. I could watch this match a dozen times. I'd probably like it more each time I watched it. Let's do FTR versus the Young Bucks 2 to see who is the greatest tag team of all time. Listen, with all due respect to FTR, who are a fucking great, 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 great tag team. I'm afraid the Young Bucks are the greatest tag team of all time. And the mystery opponent is Tony Storm, who got a huge ovation. She was blown away by the ovation she got when she came out, and she was even more blown away by the other ovation when she won at the end. I hope you all enjoyed this pay-per-view main event you got here on free TV on Dynamite this week. This was awesome. I knew it was coming because I saw Matt Hardy tweeted out 
I was still blown away by Jeff's senton of complete and utter murder. He squashes all of his opponents. Yes, he does. Because it hurts way too bad for him to not squash them and land flat on his fucking back and tailbone on the mat now. So anyway, if you're going to have a match with Jeff Hardy, everybody, be ready. Good luck to you. He's going to squish you. Yeah. He calls it the crouton bomb. He does? I guess because everyone crumbles into dust. I see. All right. Okay. That makes sense. Because it, it tastes like ranch. They were a great team. Imperium's a great team. And they had an awesome party match. Is she nude? I don't know. Because her, her full body suit onesie was there. That's true. So there was like a tug of war over her body pillow. It got torn asunder. She was stripped of her clothes and then taken naked out of the building. Imagine those missing posters. <laughs> a nude Wendy Chu wearing one slipper. The character of Dolph Ziggler in this feud is that he's essentially Ric Flair. He's he's jet flying, limousine riding, but it's Dolph. <laughs> he's not Ric Flair. Fallon, I can't remember. Hayden Fallon, Fallon Henley. Fallon Henley. Not Hayden Fallock. Whatever. That's on the granny show. Oh. <laughs> That's one of our Facebook friends, you idiots. That's why I get so confused. Yes. Anyway, Hayden... No. Fallon Henley, Henley, you Henley, idiot. Fallon Henley. Whatever you're doing with this, these two is not working. That's okay? clear. So if you're scripting it, then next week they got to try and just wing it. Okay? If they're winging it, then next week you got to script it. But whatever you're fucking doing with these two, stop. One of them says, we're going to watch Mandy Rose beat three other bimbos at the same damn time. <laughs> three other bimbos. So is Mandy also one of the bimbos? Yes, there? Okay. They're other bimbos. Just checking. What's like a famous phrase? Like, uh, you know, to be the man, you got to beat the man. All right. She'll say, like, to be the man, you have to beat that man. <laughs> She'll screw up some comment like that. She has a unique look. She's clearly athletic. She's charismatic. She throws some of the best kicks in the entire show and then wins with the splits. Start sending out those tweets. Am I too old or am I too young for this show? I can't figure it out. I don't know. Who you. That's I'm a, not the right age. That's a very hard question to answer. The, the show was not perfect, as we went over you see that some segments were outright bad but it was so good at all the important things they actually made me excited for takeover which i could not have given two shits about at any point in the past month i want to end the show on a high note at sushi onita the rock and roll express juice robinson and colt cabana <laughs> versus pco enzo jimmy wang yang barry horowitz and fandango I am really regretful. How can you not want to go to WrestleMania week going, that kind of thing could just surprise you? Well, I won't miss it next year. <laughs>